Hello, this is Hope from Trifold Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to introduce you to a .blend file. And it's basically uh, the same kind of concept that we've been going over for the past, I think, three or four Blender Quick Tips that uh, these blend files use geometry nodes, which is, I think that's the direction Blender is going in general, which is pretty helpful to some extent. Uh, but let's see what this one is. This is the Sting Wire Generator. So it, it uh, creates this barbed wire for you that you can use in your scene. And once again, it's quote unquote free. But if you want to, you could uh, you know, flow some money towards the developer's way. And that will help them out in terms of de de developing, sorry about that, developing more add-ons or dot .blend files for us to use. Now I've already uh, done that myself. And that's why this is purchasing. I'm going to put the amount in here zero dollars or I know three four five six seven eight nine ten dollars you click on purchase and it gets you goes takes you through the uh, purchasing process that's what it does and once that's done it'll offer you two uh, downloads uh, the first one let's see if I still have it up yeah the first one is a zip file which contains the dot blend file and also uh, an, an ACRI image file and the second one just going to contains the uh, dot blend file now you have to unzip the first one I mean they both they're both the same uh, when you click on that one you have the EXR file which is the background can use for a scene but I guess this is extra for you um, and this is only for blender <coughs> excuse me, blender 3.0 uh, and above 3.1 and above that's all you can use it for you can't use it for anything lower than that which is I'm hopeful I'm hoping that we can convert it to an uh, OBJ object and use it in other um, applications or other versions of Blender, which would be helpful if it could do that. But we're going to see. Let me close that out or minimize that. And this is, ver this is Blender uh, 3.1. Now we're going to navigate to where we save that file, that .blend file. So I'm going to press File and Open. I've already done this before. But to easily navigate to where you've saved it on your, on your computer to open it up in Blender 3.0, you just uh, left click in here, press that, right click and click copy. Then you just click up in this uh, address bar and press Control V on your keyboard and it'll open it up to where that folder is. So you can click on the file, which I've already done. Let's click on that and press open and it gives you this uh, straight off the bat. Now we're gonna uh, join this all together. So give us a little bit more room to work with. Join areas right click join areas okay now the parameters for making these adjustments to uh, this I think it's a curve should be a curve that's what a lot of blend uh, the uh, a lot of the uh, geometry nodes seem to work off of not actual meshes for some reasons it's the curves or something similar to that so I'm assuming this is a curve uh, but you can see this got the barbs on the wire hence the term barbed wire but you have the, your parameters here your sting sting type okay then the spiral or see let's expand this or draw your count so on and so forth we're just going to go over these parameters to see what they do now the sting type I'm assuming that it means what kind of barbs you want on the wire so zero seems to be this style of barb let's click up once now it gives the other version but for some reason it's not connected to the wire which is different you can't really tell if you're like far away from it but if you scroll close to it you can see it's not really connected so it doesn't look too good but let's uh let's go back to the other version that's zero and the spiral draw let's see what that does so yeah, i guess one is the first version of the draw let's go to zero and it does this it is a little bit different i don't know what you would be able to do with this in a scene but that's the second kind of draw let's go back to the first one that's what we want to look at so it looks a lot more pleasing to the eye so that looks better and let's do the count and that's the barb count let's see what that does that increases the number of barbs on the wire and that looks good and the max let's see what the max does okay that tends to turn the direction of the barbs on the wire 
to point in different directions. Well, I wonder why it's called Max, though. That's kind of unusual. Uh, the spiral settings, which would be the wire itself. The resolution, I'm assuming that that's going to uh, kind of increase the number of verts on this uh, on the wire. But you have to keep in mind, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> keep in mind that the higher the vert count, the longer it's going to take the render out. So this looks pretty much fine. It'll increase the vert count on the, and when I say vert count, I mean vertex count. It'll make it smoother. Um, it'll make, because if you look close, it looks kind of jagged. It's not as smooth as it should be when it comes to wiring uh, in terms of the model itself. So if you increase it, let's increase it. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's, it looks like it's, it only affects the wire itself, but not the barb, which is different. I guess bring that back down. <coughs> so that's what it does. It makes it the uh, wiring smoother. Uh, rotation, let's see what that does. Okay, it just kind of spirals. Does it make it longer and shorter? I don't think it does. It just kind of spirals your your wiring up and down or forwards and backwards. This could be useful. Uh, let's see what the height does. Okay, the height of it, it makes the coil looser. And if you decrease the height, it makes it more compact, which is not bad either. And the radius, I'm assuming it's going to make the uh, circumference of the wiring bigger or smaller let's see what it does and it does what it does okay now like i said before in other tutorials or uh, under quick tips for myself i can't download or use blender 3.0 on my uh, pc high as it goes to 2.92 so for me to use this i'd have to convert it to a uh wavefront wavefront object so to speak which can be used on or in any software, 3S Max or Maya. And like I said before, I'm assuming this is a curve and not an actual mesh. So let's uh, highlight that, make sure it's been selected. And to turn this from a curve into a mesh, but let's, let's just to make sure for, let's see, let's apply, uh, apply this uh, modifier, I guess, to the, the, the scene here. Let's apply that, and then yeah, to transform curve to mesh in order to apply constructive modifiers. So it is a curve. In order to turn a curve into a mesh or model, you have to go to object, and let's scroll down, convert, and go to mesh. And it turns it into a mesh. You can see that it does by pressing edit or tab on your keyboard. And it gets the mesh. Only thing is it got rid of the uh, fencing below and the barbs so all you have with this spiral so I wouldn't really be able to uh, use it as is as a wavefront object in another version of Blender that's not 3.0 or, or in any other uh, 3ds or 3d software because it just got rid of things that make it a uh, barbed wire fence uh, yeah that's something that Probably should have been, I guess, the developer can kind of work on to uh, have those changes apply to our uh, curve here. But let me go back to my person control Z to go back to the original state of the of the um, model here. But yeah, besides the fact that you can't use it anywhere else, uh, in other, other software, it's not a bad uh, not a, a bad dot blend file. You can still use it in 3.0 and above, so that's that's not bad. But yeah, that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And as I said before, uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who will subscribe in the future, I will appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.